Hello all, today we are going to try the Enmo 2024 paper. This is the question 6 from it. I had given Enmo that year and had got 11 out of 14 for this question. Few marks were taken due to few inconsistentness and incompleteness in my solution which I am going to show you. So without any further ado, let's proceed. Now I am hoping you have read the problem statement. This is based on two values AN and BN. AN contains the odd summations of uh, roots and BN contains the even summations of roots. Now we are asked what's the condition on N such that the GIF of both the terms AN and BN are equal. Now both uh, we can easily observe that AN and BN both will be greater than 2N and then people get stuck. So one of the crucial hints which I believe are subtracting them which I have written also like find bn minus an by subtracting and then rationalizing also which also helps now after this end few people might want to try so you can go and try also the problem so the next thing which i had done in the solution was say i subtracted bn minus an uh, over here and then did the rationalization thing then in the denominator you will get the addition now this is often done in class 12th limits question also that uh, often we uh, need to calculate the limit then we rationalize and bring the editing bring terms in adding so now the terms are ad in addition we can say that the addition of both the terms will be lesser than 2n because this is also lesser than n and this is also lesser than n hence the difference between them will be lesser than half now why does this help is say like an is 7.4 then bn will be lesser than 7.9 and so both gif will be equal so now the story is all about the fractional part of an say if the fractional part of an is lesser than half say 0.3 for example then the fractional part of bn will be just 0.8 or below or something below it and hence both will have same gif however if the fractional part of an is bigger than half I had concluded that their GIF will be different. This was one of the mistakes in my solution as say AN's value is 7.7 .7 and BN's value is 7.9. Now that difference is 0.2 which is lesser than half and so they are satisfying the, all the conditions and they will have GIF same. But I had missed this case during the exam time. Now what I had done further was like say under root n square plus k minus n just to find the fractional part of an because we need to find the fractional part of an we know that in under root n square plus 1 it will be n plus some fractional part all these terms are lesser than n sorry are greater than n and lesser than n plus 1 you can see that bn also has the highest term lesser than n plus 1 because b the term will be n square plus 2n plus 1 and the in root the value is lesser than that so i just tried to find what is n plus that something so i had done the difference and then take the n common and then use the fractional binomial now while using the fractional binomial what i believed was under root 1 plus x will be greater than 1 plus x by 2 and will be lesser than 1 plus x minus x square by 8 these were my conclusions because if you just take 1 plus x by 2 you are missing the subtraction term and the, hence you are overshooting the value and if you take the subtraction value you are missing the future of addition terms and hence oh, underestimating the value so by taking that into the con consideration i got these two inequalities for the rhs and LR lhs now i summationed this term these terms to get the fractional part of an because of n plus something to high then we are trying to find the summation of that something because n is an integer we can ignore while calculating fractional part and currently we need to find just whether it is lesser than equal to half or greater than equal to greater than half so i just did the summation of the left hand left part and right part for the rhs summation you can easily see that this is the sum of all the odd numbers and it, uh, the sum of all odd numbers is n square so n square upon 2 and it will become easily n by 2 that's pretty obvious now while summing these 2j minus 1 square thing i was a bit lazy so uh, what i did was say you expand this you will get 4j square minus 4j plus 1 
now what we need to find is the lower limit now so let's just take the biggest term so i just took 4j square because i am trying to lower the lower limit further so what i had taken was 4j square now also by 4j square summation you know that the summation of squares become n n plus n n plus 1 to n plus 1 by 6 now again i said it will be at least lesser than n cube by 3 now because you just take all the cu the cubic term because that's the highest term you have and hence lhs has to be at least n by 2 minus 1 by 6 and rhs is n by 2 now if we say n is even say for example 4 then the rhs will become 2 and lhs will be 2 minus 1 by 6 so rhs being an whole number we can say that the fractional part of an will be lesser than 1 and greater than that 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6 whereas if n is odd for example 3 then the rhs will become 1.5 and lhs will become 1 1 by 3 something 1.33 for example so in that case fractional part of an is less than half and hence i had concluded during that time that for odd n we have fractional part of an lesser than equal to half and so box of bn equal to box of an now for even n i had just said that the box of an will be equal to box of bn minus 1 that was the wrong, wrong part the reason being say the fractional part of an is 0.8 which is within this condition now the fractional part of bn can be 0.9 and they will still have the same gif i had just considered that if the fractional part of an is 0.8 the fractional part of bn will be overshooting that value which was wrong during that time and uh, i found their solution this is the official solution given by them they had found one a, a number between an and bn now suppose in an they have exactly followed that thing that is like subtracting n from each value which i have done here and hence they have gotten the n by 2 thing although they did by rationalizing instead of binomial but anyway that's the same thing and they called this n square plus n by 2 some m value so they concluded that an is lesser than this m thing also for bn which i had not done i was just fixated for an throughout this time so for bn they proved that the bn is lesser so greater than m so they have found a value which is between an and bn now say if m becomes an integer suppose m is 6 then we can easily say an is lesser than the 6 and bn is greater than 6 so both will have different gif and whereas if m is a fraction say if m becomes 6.5 because there are only two possibilities for m m can either be an integer or can be a fraction that like 0.5 value type 6.5 or 7.5 something like that so if it is 6.5 an is just lesser than 6.5 and bn is just greater than 6.5 and already we have proved that the difference is lesser than half so both will have same gif when n is odd so that m becomes fractional so this was the reason why my solution was inconsistent i had ignored the even n part i had not write it in a proper manner that the both will have different gif and the reasons behind that and so they had deducted three marks which was quite generous of them because i was expecting just six to seven marks so yeah the exam went pretty well and the total marks i had gotten was 54 so this year's in move was pretty easy although so yeah, no comments, but